like so many important instances in history, this one it started out as a joke between two sisters and snowballed into something so important, uh, making the way for so many women and girls. It's further inspiration, I hope, for everyone out there that if you have an idea, if you see a problem that needs solving, go for it, you know, do it. <laughs> Lisa Lindell, and there are examples of her early jockstrap prototype bras on display at the Smithsonian and New York Metropolitan Museum of Art. She was speaking to me, Rebecca Kesby, for Sporting Witness. This is the BBC World Service, and we're looking for a food hero. It could be a person, project, or company that inspires you. It's changing food for the better. That challenges the way we produce, consume, or even think about food. And who's your global food champion? To nominate, go to bbc.com slash foodchain and click on Award 2019, where you'll also find our terms and privacy notice. Nominations close on the 3rd of March 2019. This is Sarah McCombs on the BBC World Service. Manchester City, Watford, Brighton and Millwall have all booked their spots in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup and will join them. Our commentary comes from the Keep Moat Stadium where Doncaster Rovers host Crystal Palace. Stay with us. On air, online and on mobile, this is the BBC World Service, the world's radio station. This is Sports World. Hello from Sarah Mulcairn from this FA Cup fifth round weekend. Who will join Manchester City, Millwall, Watford and Brighton in the draw this Monday? Crystal Palace into the penalty area, the shot away, it goes and he's missed it and it's tucked into the back of the net. Premier League Crystal Palace travel north to face Doncaster Rovers of League One in our live commentary match. Already today. Into the penalty area, pulls it back, shot turned in by Cavalero. The Premier League side are in front here at Ashton Gate. Wolverhampton Wanderers have beaten Bristol City to get into the last eight of the competition. Reaction to that game and plenty other sporting stories from across the world coming up on Sports World. So join us in five minutes' time. This is the BBC News. Hello, I'm Jonathan Isard. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman of Saudi Arabia has arrived in Pakistan on the first leg of an Asian tour that will also take him to India and China. He's expected to sign investment deals worth billions of dollars.